Hello there. Today let's mind map. Relevant costing and decision making techniques. Before going further, let's understand what is a relevant cost. A relevant cost is a future cash flow that will occur as a direct consequence of making a particular decision. They cannot include any cost occurred in past. Costs that occur whether or not a particular decision is taken are not relevant costs. Relevant costs are cash flows. Notional costs such as depreciation, interest costs and absorbed fixed cost are not relevant cost. Examples of relevant cost includes Incremental costs Differential costs Avoidable costs Identifying relevant costs Relevant costs of Material Labor, and Overheads Materials Whether material is currently in inventory, or Material not currently in inventory Material currently in inventory Is material in regular use? If yes, the relevant cost is the current replacement cost If no The relevant cost is the current opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is higher of Net disposal, sales value, scrap value, or Net benefit from alternative use. Material not currently in inventory. In this case the relevant cost is simply the purchase value. Labor. If the cost of labor is a variable cost and labor is not in restricted supply, The relevant cost is its variable cost. If labor is a fixed cost and there is spare labor time available, the relevant cost of using labor is zero. The spare time would otherwise be paid for idle time. If labor is in unlimited supply, relevant cost includes the opportunity cost of using the labor time for the decision instead of next most profitable way. Overheads Normal rules of relevant costs are applied that is relevant costs are future cash flows. Fixed overheads absorption rate are irrelevant. However the variable overhead hourly rate is treated as relevant cost. The only overhead fixed costs that are relevant costs are the extra cash spending. Decision making techniques The concept of relevant costs can be applied for both long term and short term decisions. The application is same for both types of decisions except for long-term decisions time value of money should be considered. Types of decisions Limiting factor decisions One-off contractual decisions Make or buy decisions Shut down decisions Joint product further processing decisions Limiting factor decisions Limiting factor are the factors that restricts operational capabilities, sales demand is normally the factor that sets a limit on volume of production. However the availability of scarce resources such as direct material, skilled labor or machine capacity could be the limiting factor. If the company makes just one product and a production resource is in limited supply, profit is maximized by making as many units of product as possible with limited resources. However, if the company produces more than one product with same scarce resources then a budgeting problem is to decide how many of each product to make and sell in order to maximize profit. In such case select products for manufacture and sale according to the contribution per unit. The following steps are involved. Calculate the contribution per unit of each good produced. Identify scarce resources, for example labor hours. Calculate the amount of scarce resources used by each good produced, for example x number of labor hours. Now divide the contribution earned by each good by scarce resources used by that good to give the contribution per unit of scarce resources for that good. Rank each good in order of contribution per unit per scarce resources, highest contribution is ranked first. Construct a production plan based on ranking. Assumptions of limiting factors. Profit is maximized by maximizing contribution. Variable costs are only the relevant costs. Fixed cost will be the same whatever decision is taken. Therefore are not relevant. One-off contractual decisions. 
the contract where the job is once only and will not be repeated in future. The one-off contract is undertaken if extra revenue is higher than relevant costs. The decision is to whether agree to do the job at a price offered by customer or decide a selling price, based on relevant costs. Profit is equal to revenue minus relevant costs. One-off contract decisions might occur when a company has spare capacity and an opportunity arises to earn some extra profit. Make or buy decisions. A decision whether, to make an item internally or buy it externally. The decision should be based on relevant cost. The preferred option from a financial viewpoint is the one with the lowest relevant costs. A financial assessment of a make or buy decision involves a comparison of cost that would be saved, and incremental cost of outsourcing. A situation may arise where entity is operating in full capacity, in order to overcome some restrictions on its output and sales. The entity may outsource some products. The decision is about which item to outsource and which to retain in-house. The profit maximizing decision is to which items to outsource. Those items are outsourced where cost of outsourcing is least. To identify the least cost of outsourcing, it is necessary to compare additional cost of outsourcing with Amount of resources need to make product in-house. Make or buy decision non-financial considerations. Non-financial considerations will often be relevant to make or buy decision. When work is outsourced, the entity loses some control over the work. It will rely on the external supplier. There may be some risk that external supplier will provide a lower quality. Fail to meet delivery on said dates. The entity will lose some flexibility. If it needs to increase or reduce supply of the outsourced item at short notice, redundancy of employees may occur as a consequence of outsourcing affecting relations between management and other employees. Shutdown decisions A shutdown decision is whether or not to shut down a part of the operations of a company. From a financial view an operation should be shut down if the benefits of shutdown exceeds relevant costs. Example of such costs. Fixed costs may be saved, employee redundancy cost. Joint product further processing decisions. Joint products are product manufactured from a common process. The entity has a choice whether selling joint product as soon as it is output, or Processing it further before selling, at a higher price. This is a short-term decision and financial assessment should be made using relevant cost and revenues. The financial assessment should compares Revenue, less, selling cost from joint product as soon as it is output. The revenue that will be obtained if joint product is processed further, less, incremental cost of further processing. Thanks for watching. More stuff coming soon.